Alexa, turn on Infinity Mirror. Okay. Alexa, turn on Infinity Lamp. Okay. Alexa, turn on X Men. Okay. Alexa, tell me a joke. What is Spider Man's ideal job? A web designer. Hi guys, welcome to Techie DIY. My name's Nigel and in today's video I'm going to add voice control to the infinity mirrors that I built in previous videos. If you haven't seen those yet, you can find the links above and also in the video description. The way I'm going to add voice control is using an Amazon Dot and also a smart lighting kit which was sent to me free of charge by a company called Wizco. The kit consists of a hub, a receiver and a switch. And the basic idea is that once you've fitted the receiver into your light fitting, you are then able to control the light with a switch, an app on your phone, or with Amazon Alexa. Inside the receiver, there is a relay, which is used to switch the power. It operates at a radio frequency of 433 MHz, which apparently gives the receivers better coverage than normal Wi-Fi. The switch is interesting in that it is battery free. To power the transmitter, it harvests the energy from the physical action of pressing the switch. There's a little bit of resistance when you push it, but not much. So that means that you can locate it anywhere you like, stick or screw it to a wall and not have the hassle of changing batteries in the future. The purpose of the hub is to connect the receivers to your Wi-Fi network and you can then use the app and Alexa to control them. To pair the receiver with a switch, plug in the power supply that came with the hub, press the reset button until the red LED flashes, and then press the switch. To operate the receivers remotely from a phone, you can download the KinSmart app from the App Store or the Play Store. The app will ask you to set up an account, and once you've done that, you can pair the hub to it. To register a receiver to the account, it needs to be powered up along with the hub. The process is pretty simple. Using the KinSmart app, scan the QR code label on the receiver, or in this case, the spare label. And once it's recognized, you can give it a name. The receivers are designed to switch mains powered lighting circuits between 110 and 250 volts AC, 50 or 60 hertz. There are four wires. The thin white one is the antenna or aerial. The blue wire connects to the neutral. The red and brown wire connects to the live. And the red wire is the switched output that connects to the lighting circuit. Okay, I'm going to be working with mains electricity and it's important to point out that it can be dangerous and has the potential to kill you. It is also the case that different countries have different standards and regulations, so you should always seek professional advice before attempting a project of this type. The Infinity Mirror operates on 12 volts DC, so the receiver needs to be wired into the main side of the power supply. The power supply I'm going to use is one of these, which is a little switch mode unit, and I'm going to mount it in a case along with the receiver. The mains power will be brought in through an IEC connector, and then I'll use a cable gland to secure the output cable. To make the hole for the IC connector in the side of the case, I've made a little paper template, which I can just glue to the side of the case, and then I can drill out the hole. The glue I'm using is water soluble, so that when it's finished, I can just soak it off. To start cutting out the template, I drilled holes in each corner. Then cut out the shape with a coping saw. I used a file to finish off the edges. And for the cable gland, I drilled a hole in the opposite end using a step drill. To wire the DC power supply, I connected the red wire from the receiver to the live AC input on the DC power supply. 
also connecting a blue wire to the AC neutral terminal and a green stroke yellow wire to the earth terminal. I soldered the two blue neutral wires together and then soldered them to the neutral terminal on the IC connector. Then I soldered the earth wire to the IEC connector, making sure to put the heat shrink tubing over the wire first. And then the red stroke brown wire from the receiver was soldered to the live terminal on the IEC connector. I plugged in a power lead and checked that it worked, which it did. And finally I connected the wires from the infinity mirror to the DC power supply. To finish off, I bolted the DC power supply and the receiver into the box. I resoldered the neutral connection so that I could get the heat shrink over it properly and secure the cable gland with a lock nut. So now the Infinity Mirror can be operated by a remote switch and also by using the app. But to add voice control, we need to perform one final task, which is to add the Wisco skill to the Amazon Dot using the Alexa app. So first select Home, Smart Home, Smart Home Skills and Enable Skills. Type Wizco in the search box, select the Wizco skill and click on Enable. Now enter the details of the Wizco account, click on Authorize and that's Alexa linked with Wizco. Now we need to discover the Wizco receivers, so go back into Smart Home, Devices and click Discover. And there they are. There is one last thing we can do, which is to create a group containing multiple devices. So from Smart Home, select Group, Create Group, give it a name, and then Save. So I've set up three different mirrors, and I can control them with the switches. From the app, and also with the Amazon Dot. Alexa, turn on Infinity Mirror. Okay. Alexa, turn on Infinity Lamp. Okay. Alexa, turn on X-Men. Okay. Alexa, turn off Infinity Mirror. Okay. Alexa, turn off X-Men. Okay. Alexa, turn off Infinity Lamp. Okay. The ability to group devices also means I can turn them on or off in sets. Alexa, turn on mirrors. Okay. Alexa, turn off mirrors. Okay. Alexa, turn on TV room. Okay. Alexa, turn on X-Men. Okay. Alexa, turn off mirrors. Okay. Here we are in my TV room and it's pretty hot here at the moment, so I have wired up a fan along with the infinity lamp. Alexa, turn on fan. Alexa, turn on infinity lamp. Okay. 
This project has been a lot of fun. Thanks to Wizco for providing the kit. If you're interested in one, then the Amazon links are in the video description, along with a special discount code. Please give the video a like, leave a comment and subscribe. I'm Nigel, you've been watching Techie DIY. Thanks for watching and see you again next time.